you pronounce the name of the minor prophet with all those K's in his name? I'm Gene Wyland, but it's all about him. Welcome to a fun place to get serious about Bible study. This season, we're spotlighting material from my Bible study, Embracing Joy, an eight-week transformational Bible study of Habakkuk, published by Our Daily Bread Publishing. So what's the correct way to pronounce the name of the minor prophet with all those K's in it? Well, I guess it's no secret how I pronounce it since I said it in the title, Habakkuk. In the course of writing this study, I discovered there are more ways to pronounce Habakkuk's name than I ever imagined, including Habakkuk and Habakkuk. I'm not sure there's really a wrong way to say his name, unless you pronounced it like Jeremiah or Obadiah or Habakkaniah. Those would definitely be wrong. I chose to pronounce the prophet's name as Habakkuk since it's how Dr. O. Palmer Robertson pronounces it. By the way, Dr. O. Palmer Robertson's name is actually more of a mouthful than Habakkuk. (laughs) Dr. Robertson is the author of the New International Commentary on the Old Testament, the books of Nahum, Habakkuk, and Zephaniah. This commentary is one of the main ones I studied as I wrote Embracing Joy. I also listened to his sermons on Habakkuk on Sermon Audio. I chose to adopt his way of pronouncing the prophet's name since he clearly is a bit of an authority on the subject. If you pronounce Habakkuk differently than I and the good Dr. Robertson, add yours to the list of the many ways people pronounce this unusual name. No matter how you pronounce the prophet's name, though, you're going to love Habakkuk's book. Thank you for joining me today. If you like what you heard, share it with others. Hit the subscribe button and write a review on your favorite podcast app. If you haven't started studying Embracing Joy, get it today. The link is in the show notes. I'm Gene Wyland, but it's all about him.